If people don't understand the concept of RSVPs, <laughs> or Jeff Perry can't count. <laughs> Whichever well, one it is, it really doesn't matter. Let's, let's start off with a huge round of applause for the folks here at the Daniel Webster for accommodating our growing, growing... <laughs> Now you're all here because you did, you went above and beyond the call of duty during the campaign and we, Lisa and I just wanted to thank you for, for all that you did, all the energy you gave us, all the phone calls that you made, all the money that you donated, all those signs we got in the ground, all those people you waved at, all those doors you knocked at. And we really sincerely and humbly appreciate all that you did for us and we also know that you're going through a type of withdrawal. <laughs> That's right. Hey, you know, you, you go for nine months every day, morning to night, about the campaign, and then it stops. Yeah. And you miss that social interaction with each other. You miss the common effort. You miss the friendships that you develop. So this is also another excuse to get together, not only to say thank you, but to bring everybody back together and, and celebrate the Christmas season. And uh, so thank you. That's really, that's really the purpose of tonight, is to say thank you. I do want to recognize a few people, which is very dangerous in a room, where, where all of you did so much, but I want to, out of deference to the elected officials who stood with me, uh, some of them are here tonight. First and foremost in that list of people who had my back the whole way is your high sheriff of Barnstable County, Sheriff Jim Cobb. legislature. I'm really not. I'm a term limits guy. I was ready to go. But I am going to miss a few people. And one of them is here tonight. And it's just an interesting coincidence that he's here tonight. Not, not, he, he didn't RSVP, by the way. <laughs> he did. He called me today. He said, I'm coming. I said, good, Danny. And, uh, hey, his name is Daniel Webster, which is <laughs> serving in the State House that already has a statute in front of the State House. <laughs> but it's interesting in another way, not only did Danny help me in the campaign and stood with me, but Danny and I have something very much in common along our political ideological point of view. And how many of you saw the, uh, Judge Hudson's decision declaring yeah. the yeah. 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 campaign once or twice, but... <laughs> you were right. I was right, that's all right. But Virginia. two legislators back in 2006, two out of 200, two out of all the Republicans, all the Democrats, House and Senate combined, stood up on the House floor and argued against the Massachusetts mandated health care bill. And we are argued against it for a lot of reasons. And certainly, Danny and I agree that the federal bill is unconstitutional. I'm going to miss my... Don't take anything wrong with this. My political soulmate at the state house. <laughs> now this is a true story, not unlike the other ones I've been telling. The true story. When I decided to run, when Lisa and I decided to run, we went through this process of uh, making this decision. And during that decision, one of the folks in my inner circle which was about 10 people at the time, and it's apparently grown, um, <laughs> came to me and said, Jeff, if you run for, for Congress, I'd like to run for state representative. And boy, that made my decision, our decision to run for Congress, a lot easier. And I give you Representative-elect Randy Hunt. Yeah. campaign, in his campaign. He's an experienced guy, he's a successful business guy, he had to do it his way. But I did give him one comment which really bothered him, and it worked out fine. But it really got to him, and I didn't know how much until late in the campaign. I said, Randy, Lisa and I are going to try this. It's going to be a, a, a tough right, but we're going we're to get into it, we're going to do it, we're going to give it everything we have. It's okay for us to lose. But Randy, it's not okay for you to lose. <laughs> 
<laughs> I didn't mean it with that much force, but he took it that way. <laughs> so he won. Thank you. Uh, other elected officials? Absolutely. Thank you. Another elected official in the House is uh, my former chief of staff, the guy I entered the State House with, my friend and your town clerk, Mr. Trailaway. Sandwich. I think she worked at least 50 events along the way. So your school committee lady, where is she? Andrea Kelly. Andrea Kelly. Also another local elected official and a true friend, someone who uh, has been with me every step of the way since the beginning, meaning the state rep stuff. It's not funny. <laughs> Ann Kennedy, your town councilor from Barnes. Are there any other elected officials in the room that would like to be recognized and have me say something about them? <laughs> Seeing none, I, I'd like to take a minute to uh, to recognize my campaign team, <coughs> being the people who ran my offices, the people who ran my field organization, would Andrew, Ralph, <coughs> Devin, and Ryan please come up here? Many of my friends in politics would stand with us. 
But we didn't know if we could raise over a million bucks. I mean, we raised 120000 as a state rep. We thought we were somebody. <laughs> it's pretty good. Can't, but no, and we're not wealthy people. And so we said, can, can we assemble a team, put together a team that can raise over a million bucks so that we can be competitive in this election? And when Judy Crocker volunteered to serve as our finance chair, I knew right then that the answer was yes, we could raise a million bucks. How many people got a call from Judy along the way? <laughs> How many didn't? <laughs> That's probably what I should say. It would have been easier to count. Uh, Judy totally devoted her life for the six to eight months she was on the campaign. Every morning, every night, not, not just raising money and, and calling and harassing you, but getting us votes, and standing up for us, and doing all the things that she did. She is a, she's an amazing lady with a bright future, who's looking for a job, by the way. <laughs> you have something. <laughs> Especially in fundraising. Um, so can Jeff Perry and his supporters raise a million bucks? Yes, we raised 1.3 million. No, at, and no small amount of credit goes to me on that. It was all Judy Crocker and what she did. Judy, come up. So when people raise a certain amount of money, they got one. And uh, when I said Judy, I, I'd like the bats back because I want to give them out to some of the, the core circle. She, she brought them over and she said, here they are. I don't have one. <laughs> and the final uh, two folks I'd like to recognize um, are such, it, were such an integral part of the campaign, more than you ever know. These two folks... We're working behind the scenes, and when, when I say their names, you're going to know that they do everything for everyone. They're always there helping. Uh, Nancy Sandborg organized all my home parties, tracking all of you down who had home parties, and keeping track of all that. And even more important, she gave up her husband for about six months. <laughs> Skip ser served as my uh, field director, meaning keeping those guys in line, keeping everything running as smoothly as it did. These guys are lifelong friends. They're totally committed to us, and we're totally committed to them. Would Skip and Nancy please come up here?